Hello everyone, my name is Sharon Worley. I have been crafting for about 15, over 20 years really. And I'm making a tutorial on how to use Millen's templates on the lunch tote. There has been many questions as to how to line up Pacific templates under the handle of the lunch tote and I'm going to demonstrate an example in silhouette and how to do this. So right now I'm going to bring up one of Millen's templates and this one is the one of the coach bags here. What you want to do is right now I have it sized on 13 by 19 paper which is the big paper because that's what my printer will hold um, and let me fix my settings because my settings should not say 11 by 17 it should say B 13 by 19 because that is the size paper that we're using so you see with this little faint line down here it's hanging off the paper I'm going to resize that but you know what first let's bring the lunch tote bag on the screen this bag is transparent. This bag I purchased from JPP Plus. I had this bag made transparent so that it would be easy to work on the actual bag than to try to figure out my placements and printing and wasting paper. So I made it transparent so that you can actually work on this size bag. This bag that I have is 11 by 8. So you change the settings here. The width is 11 by 8 and up here the height is 11 by 8. So this is the exact size bag that I'm using. So you would place that on your screen. And then I'm going to take the image and I'm going to cover it on the template. But I'm going to send it behind the bag. So when I right click, I'm going to say send back. So you see now you can see the bags right through it because it's transparent. This allows me to see where I need to place things. Now here is the question people ask is the coach logo is up here. You want to have that down here. And I'm going to show you how to do this uh, slice process to get it down there. So what you're going to do right now move this out of the way and then let me blow this up just a little bit more so that you can see what I'm doing here then what you're going to do is on the page you're going to always make a duplicate copy of your template so you're going to up here if I hover over it says duplicate you're going to make a copy of that and put it to the side because this is the one we're going to slice because we need our bag to fit under the coat. So what you're going to do, put your bag back on your template and bring it down like maybe right there looks good. Bring it like right there. Now you have this white space up here on the tote. So that's when you get into your slice uh, issue. So let's move this bag out of the way and we're going to get the same exact color up here to fill in this space. So I'm going to move this out of the way and I am going to slice the color right here from this little square. So what I do, there's a couple of ways to do it, but what I do is that I go over to this tool to the far right that says open the trace panel. So I will click on that. I will click on trace and what I will do, your, your cursor is going to turn into this crosshair. So you see that, right? Um, let me move this out of the way. It turns into this crosshair. I am going to trace this portion here. Now it turns into a solid yellow. And that's, that's correct. But in any event, if you chose trace, and if your threshold, this is a threshold here, if you chose it and it looks kind of light like that, or it looks kind of scattered like that, you know you've got to pull this all the way to the right so that you get a solid box. Once you get that solid box, you're going to come back over here to trace and detect. 
attach because that's exactly what you're going to do because now if I click on this and move this out of the way you have this little square right here and that's all you need so we're going to click on this and we're going to delete that we're going to move this to the side we're going to bring your bag back on the screen and bring the other one back on the screen send it to the back again so you can see through the bag send back we're going to take it and we're going to move it down here to where you want it okay and then you're going to take this slice and you're going to move it over here now you don't have to have it out here you can just have it anywhere just so that it is filling in this bag it doesn't matter where it's sitting it doesn't have to be way out here you just is filling in this part right here so click on that and pull that all the way across just to fill in that and see now you have this top part all filled in and don't worry about that you say oh well this is hanging off the page just make sure that your print is within the margins of your uh, paper, paper size and as you see mine is hanging off and it's anything that's hanging off is not going to print but just to be neat first I'll take that little square and I'll take this whole piece here and I'm going to group them uh, together so I want to take that piece pull it down here on my page because this line right here that's your border of your paper and it's not going to cut off so um, I take that back you want to make sure your bag is up here but it's not going to cut off and then you have this hanging but it really doesn't matter because anything below that is not going to print you just want to have everything within this bag so really it's okay you don't really have to move anything it's just that you only thing you get ready to print you're going to move your bag out of the way and print it now just for reference while you when you print out your whole sheet you just put you can put this to the side put it back on the screen and just that when you lay your paper down on your table you're going to put your bag on top just so you can see pretty much where to place your bag on your print that you have printed out so it takes out the guesswork you're going to look at your screen you're going to say my bag is pretty much right here and it's down here and then all you're going to do is press it once you print out you can cut off all this excess well like I say it's not going to print anything anyway because it's below this line it's only going to print what's in the margin so you don't even have to worry about that just as long as when you put your bag down you put it in a pretty much where you got this bag is sitting and then go ahead and press and you're good to go but that's how you fill in a gap where you need something you eyeball it on your bag it's so much easier it takes out the guesswork um, let me show you another one of uh, Miller's template that's just nice I'm going to delete this one out of the way and I have one down here it is his uh, where matter of fact this is his valentine I mean no, not valentine this is his Victoria's Secret uh, template and you see I'm gonna move that there now that could be okay um, that may not be a good one to use because you can go ahead and print that and that's fine and just leave that there um, there is another one but we're going to talk about that another time but all of them you do not have to slice this one is fine you can leave it like this and you're good to go uh, Millen has a lot a lot of gorgeous templates that you could use and see most of these templates are for his template tumblers that he creates and as you see here I created this bag here and that's using one of his templates that's doing some cutting and some slicing uh, to get that top portion to look the way I want it to look and then over here is the um, 
board that I created to put inside the bag to press it. But this is a good example of a slicing project of what I did uh, to fit on the bag. And as you see up here, uh, where I got that from, that is from his template here. Uh, like I say, he makes most of them for tumblers and for mugs. So I took that template and I sliced it the way I need to slice it to fit on the bag. And then here's the one that he has now for Black History Month. It is absolutely gorgeous. You have to see the whole entire thing on a cup. But I, you can take these, put these images on the bag, this cute little Mickey one. And then this tumbler looks like it actually has a scarf going to pop out at you on this one. So he has absolutely wonderful templates um, this one is nice the Nike tennis shoe but this is just a quickie to show you how to slice an image and put it on your bag um, in the link below I will have a link to all of his templates that you can click on and you will be amazed there's over 200 different templates that he has done um, I also, if you're interested in the bag, there will be a link at the bottom where um, you can uh, purchase the uh, transparent bag for six dollars. Uh, then uh, it has the information as to whether you want to send it to me by Cash App or you can send it to me by PayPal and my email address is also would be in the bottom of this link as well as Millen's templates if you're interested in purchasing any of his templates. I hope that helps. If anyone have any questions, uh, please let me know if I didn't cover something that you want to know. But... Um, like I say, take a look at his templates. You can the going. Everyone is doing lunch toast, putting his templates on these wonderful uh, totes and on mugs and on cups. So this is it. If you have any questions, like I say, you can contact me through email or personally send me a DM uh, DM message uh, through Facebook. I'm on Facebook as Sharon Worley. Thank you so much, and you all have a good evening.